Oh, hey, Matt. Oh, hey, Sam. How are you doing? Hey, guys. Welcome to our kitchen. We're back with Matt from Rethink Food, and today we're going to talk broccoli. Fantastic. What are you going to do? I was going to make a broccoli soup. I just used the crowns of the broccoli. Could I use the stems? You can use the stems? Yeah, absolutely. Something that we do at Rethink Food is try to use a whole ingredient. So we take the stems, we peel them down until they basically look like this, and we're gonna make a nice broccoli gratin with them. That sounds delicious. Broccoli and cheese and... Garlic and cream. <laughs> Speaking my language. Yeah. Amazing, so you go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start my soup. Fantastic. Cool. Amazing. All right. With medium high heat, some olive oil. So why are you slicing them on a mandolin, Matt? Just so that they're all the same exact size, so they all cook evenly. Aha! I did that with my veggies, too. Amazing. It's because you're a fantastic cook, Sam. Oh, stop it. Good. That's so nice <laughs> of you. Alright, so I'm just going to chop up some garlic, go in my soup. So, I'm going to slice, also be slicing a little garlic, and this is just going to go into the cream that we're going to use for our gratin. I think between the two of us, we're going to use an entire head of garlic. Pardon me, Sam. So, now we have our broccoli stems, and what we're going to do is we're just going to blanch them really quickly so that we know that they're nice and cooked. The thing about the broccoli stems, they're a lot denser than the florets, so what we're going to have to do is make sure that they're thoroughly cooked. Show them how to salt the water. All right, so there's an old saying that the water you cook in should taste like the sea. So we go heavy, heavy, heavy on the salt. When I used to work in fancy restaurants, the sous chefs would taste the water, and if it didn't taste like the sea, they'd get yelled at. <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up. I'm really not. You wanna hand me some carrots? Thank you. Then I'm cutting up some onions for Sam here. Sam, how big would you like these onions? Like a quarter of an inch dice would be perfect. I'll get my ruler. Thank you. Great. I'm going to test him later. Like his sous chefs would test, would, would taste the water. I'm going to measure his onions. <laughs> Keeping my fingers in to be safe. You thought you weren't going to get any knife work on this show. Right. <laughs> Nailed it. Thank you. Yeah. Just some onions. I'm also going to add some celery root. I love celery root. Yeah, it smells like celery, but it's got the, the like the texture of a parsnip or a turnip, and it's amazing. You could do like any root vegetable. I just like it with the broccoli. I think it's nice. So I'm gonna go in with that. Saute all of that together too. Salt. Duh. All of the salt. Spicy stuff. And then our little Time bundles, amazing. Pepper. I'm just gonna saute these until it's on the softer side. We don't have to go all the way because it is soup and we're gonna cook it in some liquid. Matt, you're almost boiling over here. All right, so now we have a roaring boil. We're just gonna go right in there. It's gonna take a few minutes, you know. We're really gonna make sure that they cook thoroughly. But we also want them to have a little bite. All right, so we got our cream reducing. So what we do is we're gonna check if they're done. And you'll know if they're not done because they'll be fibrous and unedible. And these are delicious. So I'm gonna use some vermouth to deglaze the soup. Um, like another fortified wine that's a little bit lighter, a little brighter. Vermouth is not just for drinking. All right, so once you got all that like brown stuff off the bottom, again, always brown stuff off the bottom, always. I wanted it to have a little more depth of flavor, so I roasted it. On the broccoli, I did salt and pepper and a little bit of lemon juice and olive oil in the oven. Now I'm gonna cover it with chicken stock and I'm gonna do the juice of half a lemon. All right. 
Broccoli and lemon are best friends, so I want to make them happy. Now this is very important. We want to taste it first. And it's great. It tastes just a little bit salty, a little bit acidic. You can taste the lemon juice, you can taste the chicken. Um, I feel good about where that's going to go. So we're going to take a little of this cheese here, the gruyere, and we put it into our cream here. Just a touch. This is going to help thicken it up a little bit so we have nicer consistency. Then we're going to go back here and we're going to make our first little layer of broccoli stems. A little salt, season the layer. Then we're gonna put a tiny layer of this gruyere. And then a tiny layer of Parmesan. That is an adorable little gratin. It's gonna be super cute. Yeah, and then we're going to take this cream and we're going to just add just a touch. Put our little cheese in there as well. Okay. One more splash of cream, just so I can see the liquid coming up. You want to see a little bit of liquid. And the final layer of this. It looks All awesome. With something you normally would have thrown away. So at Rethink, what we would do with this situation is take a lot of these stems, slice them, blanch them, lay them into cheese trays with some cheese that we usually get donated, and then bake it, cut it, and portion it into little squares, and then have them kind of like single serving meals. Little breadcrumbs on top, and then one more layer of cheese, and salt. All right, and then we're gonna go right in the oven. 350 will be just fine. So the gratin's been in there for about half an hour, and right at the end we turned it up just to kind of brown the breadcrumbs a little bit. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to need a little color on it, so we're gonna kind of hit it with some herbs. And then finally, just to make it fancy, this is olive oil that was actually donated to Rethink Food. We got a case of this olive oil. Um, it was from another home that was closing for the summer and they didn't have room for it, so we collected it. And we use really good products in, in uh, Rethink's food. Soup's been simmering for about a half an hour. I'm gonna add in some dairy, because, you know, me, equal opportunity dairy. So this is just some Greek yogurt. Add a little creaminess to it. I'm gonna take my little bundle out, bundle of joy. Bundle of time and joy. And since he didn't use all of his cream, I'm going to steal some. It's all garlicky. That's going to be delicious. And then we're going to blend this. I'm going to grab my handy dandy little stick blender. Soup, there it is. Thank you. Yeah. All right, ready for the gratin? Oh, yes. That's not. That's stupid. That is so good. You like it? Yeah. That's it, guys. We made broccoli. 
in like the best ways possible. Soup, cheese, I'm totally satisfied. And he used every part of it too. Yeah. Matt, thank you so much for being here. It has been so much fun collaborating with Rethink Food. Sammy's Kitchen is super grateful that you included us in your project. So this is just like one of many things we do at Rethink, but luckily most of the product that we get is already in very good shape, but we always try to use the most out of every ingredient. So if you're interested in hearing more, go to rethinkfood.nyc. Thanks so much for being here with us. This has been Sammy's Kitchen. Rethink every day. All right, I'm eating all of this. We're done. So to take it a step further, all the extra food that we didn't eat, you know, that our team here didn't eat, um, we packaged it up in core containers. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it back to Rethink's Kitchen. We're going to pasteurize it, and we're going to introduce fresh vegetables into it to make sure that you know it's hearty and nutritious. Freeze it and distribute it to the community in need um, through the food bank for New York City. And Sam, for your efforts, um, we're going to give you an in-kind donation of around $150 for donating all this food from Thank your you. lovely project. Amazing. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. I'm so glad to be a part of it. Thank yeah. you for having me. Absolutely. That's how the system works, and that's what Rethink does. So. Rethink, high five. <laughs> that's <was> fantastic. <laughs>